I am joined by Jason Foster, the CEO of Ori Biotech. Welcome to Arm Studios, Jason. You've got a lot cooking at this meeting on the Mesa that we're we going do. to discuss. I've been knocking around the pharma kind of biotech industry for the better part of 25 years. Met the team at Ori Biotech in 2018. We're now uh, over 80 people, uh, and we're about a year and a half away from launching our first platform technology, which is really to help with the manufacturing of this new uh, generation of medicine. The company is really focused. We've built a enabling technology platform to enable cell therapies and gene-modified cell therapies to make it to patients at scale. The mission-driven culture that this business has really trying to solve this access problem. Uh, it's what get us, gets us out of bed in the morning as a company. If you think, you know, I'm gonna introduce a couple patients during my talk today. Uh, one is a, a little boy named Opie Jones who was diagnosed with ALL at one year old. He's one of nine children in, the, in all of Europe that's had access to CAR T therapy. And he's had a, a fantastic outcome. He's now two years cancer free, which is fantastic. But there's lots and lots of, you know, tens of thousands of other children who didn't have that result. And that really gets us out of bed and, and really trying to improve equitable access, not only in the Western world, but all over the world. So I understand you have some compelling data that you're uh, unveiling. Can you give us maybe a sneak preview of what's to come? Absolutely. Today we will release for the first time scientific data coming out of the platform. We have a couple of CDMO partners, a couple of therapy developers. We've been working with to translate their process of today onto the platform to demonstrate that we can produce uh, potent and durable therapeutics. Mm -hmm.